hello and welcome back to my channel thank you for uh, coming back and as always huge massive thank you for the support so coming back with my last little um, play with this treasured moments kit so this is the beautiful let your fur down okay so um, and I've got a new sort of card shape for you today um, well it's not really a shape um, it's just a little bit of a different take on a card that I've made before um, and this card is called a spanner card so I was watching um, Crafty Roulette this morning um, and they had a challenge to make a spanner card and I think it's super easy and it's something a little bit different okay so um, it's going to end up as a six by six um, so I've got my usual six by twelve um, of the 300 GSM um, card stock and actually what I'm going to do first of all let me just pop that back down let's score that in half first of all let's not get ahead of ourselves and so we're just going to score that at the six inch mark so straight down there And then I can bring my trimmer in. Now one thing I just want to uh, check. So I'm going to be going with this purple one here. So I did just want to check how uh, what size that is. So that's four. Okay. So I was going to do uh, my side bits at one and a, one and a half. But because that is um, quite it's four inches across what I'm going to do or just under four inches I'm going to do my side panels at an inch so I'm just cutting from um, so I've put this over to one inch on my my cutter and I've cut all the way from the top up right up to uh, right from the bottom to the top and then I'm going to do the same on the other side so it's very much like we're doing a bridge card which is why I think it's super easy and that is the start of our card and I think this is quite similar to um, I think what Hunky Dory called a, a cat flap card as well so um, that is that okay so the next thing I need to do is my layers so because this kit is holographic I'm going to come in with this um, Miri card. I think it was a special um, pack that they did. So I'm not sure if they still do like this holographic one at Hunky Dory. Hopefully they still do. So I'm going to start and do these side pieces here. So we know they're one inch by six. So I'm just going to take that to two notches under the one. Is under the one and then the center piece which we know is four so I'm going to go two notches under four uh, and then we can cut the length down on that so two notches under six and I apologize if the camera is a little shakier than normal um, because I'm not in my final uh, place where I need to be uh, my desk isn't assembled correctly so this is literally like half my desk so when it's fully assembled it has a lot more stability so this camera doesn't really move as much unless I really whack something um, so but because it's only a half a desk it is a little more prone to to sort of wobble in a little bit when I'm doing cutting and things so I apologize about that but please just bear with me um, I'm hoping to be in my new permanent residence very soon okay so um, for these ends here I want to use these um, paws on the end so again I'm going to come in just another two notches smaller um, so it's about three quarters of an inch I might be able to get the other one out of there actually I'm not going to risk it. I will end up chopping them off because I want the pink in the middle anyway. But um, let's get these bits first of all. 
Okay, so those are my end pieces. I will cut them the lengths down. And then I'm gonna cut, gonna cut just beyond those stars. So I've still got a lovely little piece for a border there. Um, but I want to do this piece in the middle, which was the four inch, so we need to do three and three quarters. Um, that's gonna be by five and three quarters. And this has got this lovely sort of fur texture on. So if you wanted to emboss that with something like fur um, embossing uh, folder, sort of some kind of fur, it would, you know, would really add to that sort of oops, decoration. So these I'm just cut into, actually this should be four notches under the six. I think that one might be wrong. Let me just double check. Yes. Okay, and of course these little bits, they may come in for something, so it might be worth hanging on if you've got a smaller card. Okay, so let's have a little look. Oh, there's another thing I need to cut as well, but let me just make sure that these layers look okay. And that one is there. Let's pick that up, maybe that might be a bit easier. Yeah, so those are fine. And then if I pop back to the sheet itself, I'm just going to use my knife because that's at hand. Um, but it's got this lovely little border with spectacles and paw prints on. So I'm just going to pop that out. I'll pop that back for a moment. Let me grab my trimmer. And this is going across the whole of the card there so we just need to measure that to um i'm gonna go to I'm gonna try, let me straighten that edge up i'm gonna try two notches under the six um but it might need to go to four notches under the six but let's see where that lands so let's take those layers off for a second because that's going to make that easier to see no, I think that's going to be fine. We've still got a nice piece there as well. Okay, now we are ready to assemble. So, as usual, um, the glues that I'm going to be using in this clear one, I've got the Kalau um, all-purpose glue, which is the alcohol-based, same as Hunky Dory one, or very similar. And then in this smaller one, oops, a little bit stuck up. Oh, that doesn't want to come out today. Oh, just give that a good. Oh, apologies. Um, this is the Kalau, um Tacky Glue, which is the same as a, a sort of PVA glue. Okay, so let's put that out of the way a second, and we're going to start just by putting um, our main layers on. No sort of um, frills or any anything special to do. Um, some of these cards I did find had um, an acetate window over the front. I'm not going to do an acetate window over the front, but if you did want to do that, let's say you had a card um, and you were doing that, what I would do is stick that on before I put those layers on, just so that we can hide all the acetate glue on the edges um, behind these layers. And the ones where I've seen online, um, of this spanner card with the acetate um, the acetate was running from side to side okay with the border across it which is what we're going to do but I think it's going to look nice enough with just our um, yeah let's do this bit next um, it's going to look nice enough with just our little border across the front so and the card's going to be quite well supported because in essence all of the pieces are still there it's just that they've been separated um, somewhat. So, but you'll see what I mean once the card is assembled. But I think it's going to suit this. Uh, it's going to suit this little um, topper set quite nicely. So, and I'm already really liking this holographic foil. It's nice to get away from the gold foil now and then. Mm, but uh, it's good. Is quite a uh, quite a few people were saying that their dogs were listening to Henry um, 
last on the last video because obviously he wasn't used to hearing me talking he used to be in the room with me when I uh, made my videos but he hasn't for probably about a year or so but when I started today he came in <laughs> had a look shook his head and then he's gone and sat in his cage <laughs> so um, obviously he must think I've gone mad talking to myself bless him So it's starting to come together really nicely. So just putting that canal all purpose glue in the middle, a little bit of tacky on those corners, just so that it glues down um, a bit quicker than just leaving that tacky, um, leaving that all purpose glue to dry because that you can move that around for quite a while. So I just don't like it if I've moved on to something else and, and then. Um, you know I find a layers moved but if I put the tacky glue on it does stop that happening okay so I think so most of the other cards I've seen they've been flat but I think what I'm gonna do is just get a little uh, let me just grab a foam pad I want a, like a one millimeter one that will do I think I don't know what that is but there we go so I'm just going to, let's cut this in half, this like half a pad there, a quarter of a pad. If I line this up on my board, move you out of the way a second. And if I can get this pad off, there we go. And I'm going to put this just on that mark there so we're about an inch up and then if I can get this piece off as well we'll do that on the other side so I've gone just under the line okay and then that's just the card it's not my border moving although it has moved a little ah oh, see this is why there we go that was fine so I think it's because I didn't press it down and make good connectivity so yeah I'm happy with that okay so let's line this back up again and I'm just going to put a little bit of tacky glue on there so that I can get that nice and straight so that's the way up it's supposed to go and I'm just going to put that at the bottom just underneath that one inch mark okay so what you've got effectively now is your card that will open like that um, and then you've got your your panel there okay I'm just thinking that is probably a bit more flimsier than I would have liked so that's probably why they are going with the acetate okay what I'm going to do then so this bit do it before um, you put your layers on I'm going to pop a bit of acetate onto the back just to stabilize that up and I know I did bring a piece down so bear with me two seconds Okay, so I've got this uh, Crafters Companion acetate and it's just under six inches that way, I think. I'll just turn my cutter around the right way and I'll be able to do things. Okay, so just double check. Yes, yeah, so it's just under six inches that way and I'll do the same that way. So this bit, like I say, do this before you put your layers on and you'll be able to hide it. So because I didn't, you're going to see my workings on the back um, and what I'm going to have to do, um, which I won't do on the video, um, but what I will have to do is just hide these workings. So this acetate usually has a covering. There we go, to keep it nice and clean. I don't understand why it has covering on one side and not the other because you can just get fingerprints on the other bit but there you go 
maybe it's just that they package them together and that's the bit that slides against something. I don't know. Okay, but there we go. So we've got our piece and what we're going to do is pop that onto there. So I have got some red liner tape. So, and obviously you'll glue this to the front because you'll be able to hide it. If I had another set, I'd start the video again so not so as not to confuse you, but at least you know, um, hopefully by me, me making this mistake, I'm just going to cut that little end off, it might um, you know, remind you that acetate needs to go on the outside. It's still going to look like a nice card, so don't get me wrong, it's not a, a, a complete drama. It, it's, uh, it's just not as, it won't be as neat as I would have liked. But it's looking good already, so I know it's going to be a nice card. And you could even, or I may even, hide it with um, pieces of, of the um, insert. So I have got some sort of plain inserts upstairs. So I may just cut you know one inch pieces of the insert paper and hide it with that but that is a later job so let's pop those off and I've taken them all off today because this hopefully should be quite an easy job so I'm just going to pop that on actually let's move that down a little bit because we need to make sure we're not too high And we're not too low. It's not straight, but nobody's going to see that by the time I've hidden it. Okay, so that is going to be a lot stronger. Okay, so that is why, obviously, they put that acetate on. Okay, so that's how it's looking at the moment. Okay, so we've got our panel here, we've got our acetate there. Um, so now we are ready for our decoration. So. Oops, come on now. There we are. So we've got our little, that's going to go inside. Although I might put the frames on the outside and put the kitten in the middle. Um, and then we've got some sentiments. Uh, have, hope you have a perfect day. Fabulous mum. I'll go with fabulous mum, I think. The way so let's see which way around I want to do it so I could put the frames on the outside or I could put the frames on the inside and then just have our cat on the outside let's try that let's see which way around so when I planned it without the acetate it's a lot easier to put my layers on which was uh, what I was planning to do. So let me just pop that one out. Left one out. So if we pop that behind, like so, obviously we're going to put it straight. Do that one and that one, and then that one behind. And we can have that raised, we can have that raised. Okay, I think that's where we're going to go. And then what I'm going to do is we'll do this first one. Obviously, we're going to see the pads um, when you open it up. If I had, I wish Hunky Dory would do like just extra frames that you can use either just as frames or um, 
you know that you can put on the inside of these cards even if it was just white or you know just a plain color that would be really cool uh, i suspect the dye would probably do that for you um if you've got the dyes that's fantastic i haven't so um, unfortunately i can't do that okay so let's grab some foam pads I think we'll go with these square ones. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this frame on first so that I can then work out where that frame needs to go on the inside. I might put... Oops, look, so we've got this other bigger one, which is, hope you have a perfect day. I know we're using quite a lot of sentiments on the inside. Let's see, how would that go? That would fit really nicely in there. So we'll use that on the inside. We'll use that on the outside. There we go. Plan made. Okay. So we've got some strips here. So um, I am going to try and keep this as neat as I can. So I'm just going to... That is that the thickest one that I've got? In terms of a strip, no, okay. So I just want to try and put as much support on the card as I can without putting too many foam pads. So I am going to keep those nice and neat. Perfect for there as well. Okay, and what I can do is just pop. A little bit under there and I am just going to pop one little one at the top I can just see that pip coming through so let's go ahead and take these backs off so, so this is the first time I've ever made this card so that's why a little bit of a, a change around with this this acetate I just thought it would be strong enough with this maybe if that was a, a wider bar it would have been um, a lot stronger um, okay, it's dried up a little bit apologies somebody's walking past the door this to come quite nicely down if you can hear squeaking that's Henry's got a new toy well not a new toy it's a Christmas toy that my sister just gave him because she dropped a remote down the stairs and all the batteries went flying and uh, she thought he was going to have him I thought he was going to have him he usually is a well he's a little bugger for stealing things so we know that's in the wrong place so we can just drop that down i can see a bit of glue there but that will dry clear just gonna make sure that bit around the top is gone as well and then this bit let me just make sure that's straight it is and then this one i'm gonna drop in and i'm keeping that flat as well we'll just use the tack glue on there and it just fits nicely just over those edges so that's our little hidden message okay and then we want the topper and I want to go I'm not going to go too high on this one this is probably about a three millimeter pad again I'm going to keep it quite minimal minimal because it's on that on that acetate and it will be seen from the other side and I'll show you so that's going in there so let's 
there, I'm just checking. I think that frame is a little bit on the wonk, so. Yeah, you'll be all right though, too. Okay, so we've got our fabulous mum. Where are we going to pop that one? We'll come down here. And again, just use a bit of this foam pad. So apologies, guys. This isn't going to be my best work, but it's a serving suggestion. Okay, so we've got our fabulous mum on there. Okay, so because it's got quite a lot of glitter and shine on it, I'm not going to put any um, any um, gems or anything on. I'm going to leave it as it is. Um, but that is the finished card. So you've got your, your piece that stands like so. Like I say, these, um, you know, if you've got a frame or um, this, I will probably cover with insert paper so it's nice and light. Um, I may even trace round um, the actual frame using this piece, let me show you. I may even trace round that and see if I can come up with something later on. Um, other than that, I'm probably going to end up buying the dies so that isn't a problem in the future. Let's see if that works. But that's how it stands, so you've got that double flap. Um, you can decorate in there if you want to. I'm not going to. I would put the insert in there um, and then obviously you can write in that as normal. But that's that first card and that's a spanner card. Okay, very poorly executed, but this, it does look nice because it's, it's hunky-dory, so it obviously looks nice. So I'm just going to move on to card number two. And before I start scoring, so I've got a piece... Um, of card again which is 6 by 12 and then I'm going to take another piece which is 6 by 12 and I'm going to cut that to 4.5 by 12 because I want to do um, a front step okay so if I swap that over for my school board I'm going to do is score that as usual at my six inch mark. And we're going to pop that over. And then this piece, so we're putting it in, so we've got four across, four inch, four and a half inches across the top, and we're scoring at two and at four. So we've got our little step, so we'll have our mountain and valley. And then I'll have a uh, tab that I can attach that to my card with. Okay, so that's the piece we've got. If you've got a longer piece of card or you're working with um, A3 piece, you can cut this out of a whole piece of A3. Just go for, um, say, 10. So it's going to be 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 inches by 6. And then obviously you'd score that two and four in the end. You wouldn't need that glue tab. Okay. So let's assemble the card first of all. And this is going to go onto the front. So I'm going to put... Again, this is perfect for this because it does glue it straight away. But I will add some of my tacky glue as well. Henry's come in for a little nosy. What are you doing? <laughs> Hiding under my table. So I'm just going to put some tacky glue on those bits there just for a bit of extra support. And then I'll pop in that right onto. Come on now. Oh, do you know, you get those feelings, it's not going to be your day. Let's turn around this side so I can see where that crease is. There, there we go. I can see that card is just slightly longer, so I'm going to bring the trimmer out anyway. 
and what I'm going to do Okay. But that's the finished card as it is. Okay, so we've got, well, not finished, but that's the card assembled, the Arbor card blank. So we've got our six inch card at the back and then our step. Now, if I was to burnish this down quite nicely on a flat surface, hopefully we should find this fluff, a bit of fluff there stand a bit better there we go okay so I'm gonna be using glitter card today on that one um, so I didn't want to keep using the um, Miri up and I thought this it would be nice to have a little bit of a uh, change up so the first back uh, first mat I'm gonna do is for this back one and we know that's six by six so of course I'm just going to drop that down to two notches under the six and the square um, and that is going on to there like so okay and then we need a piece for this uh, front step we know that's two inches so I'm just going to bring that down two notches hoping that's two notches under six And then that should fit nicely onto there. And it does. So let's pop these bits out of the way. And then if I bring in the printed cardstock, what I'm going to do is cut that at five and three quarters. And then five and three quarters. So I just don't want to cut their ears off. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that down to five and a half. Just so I know I need a quarter of an inch border. And I'm just coming back to the pieces that I had left over from that last card. So bear with me. There was that star border, wasn't there? Let's, there we go. So if I cut that to five and three quarters. What I will then do is piece that on top in the correct position. Okay, now this piece here, skip to that. What I want to do is just fussy cut round these um, cats. So if I just go around the top there, actually, I might use my knife. And I am being careful, but um, I'm probably not going to get all of the fluff of these little scarves that they're wearing. So the little bits on top of his head there, I'm going to cut that off. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the rest of that cutting and I'm going to come straight back just to keep the speed of the video a little lighter a little um, shorter okay so I've cut them all out and what I'm going to do is just go around these edges just with a round of ball tool because when I've cut the edges with my knife they are quite sharp um, and you get that white bit pointing through but if I go over it with my ball tool what I find is it just softens those edges down a little bit and uh, it just makes it a bit less noticeable that it's hand cut which is a good tip uh, if you do a lot of um, cutting out by hand now obviously this is going to be bigger than my um, or taller than my border and I want that because I want them to be peeking over the top 
Okay, so let's go ahead and start assembly. So again, with my all-purpose glue, there's a little bit of string there, tacky glue in those corners, and then we'll pop that down. And that's going to hide my ugly join. Okay. Now, I think I'm probably going to pop that at the bottom. So you're not going to see an awful lot of it, if at all. But if anybody wants to look, then that's what they're going to see. So again, all purpose, sticky glue, whoops, in the corners. Uh, we'll get it the right way up because otherwise that would be disaster. And then on. And then I'm going to do the same again with this piece. If you want to, you can cut that bit of pink off. Just have that bit of holographic. Well, I thought it was quite nice to keep it on. Because we have got the cat with the pink. I'm not sure where I know he's purple, but it's a pink frame. So it will tie it all together. Okay. So just keep repeating with these layers. And on, get my smush down. And then the glue on here, obviously I'm just gonna do it on this bottom half because I don't want any glue at the top. A little bit of tacky glue on those ends. Just want that to be equal all the way around so that's where we've got to so far it was come on open up the card so we've got our little audience of cats in front of what will be our main star so let's bring the topper in so we've got this beautiful one with a purple cat and his sunglasses and that's going to go on there uh, I think you might go with time to let your fur down. I don't know, maybe I might go with Mother's Day. Uh, let's go with Mother's Day. I feel like yeah, I should have put some ribbon on it if I was going to be using that and I haven't. So uh, I could put a gem in the top but it will look just a little bit random. So we'll have a happy Mother's Day. Yeah, I think we'll have it on the black because to be following me, we'll have it on the black because it seems to show up quite nicely there. Okay, so let's decide on some layers. So there's only two to worry about. So the pink one, because that's going to be mostly behind this step, I'm going to keep that nice and flat. So I'm just going to use some tacky glue on that. Could have used the all purpose as well, but uh, we'll just go with that. And I'm trying to put it as much to the top as I can. I do want a little bit of black coming through, um, but um, I just do want that quite near the top. So I'm just a little bit uh, worried about whether that to be straight or not. Yeah, I think it's fine. And then this piece, I'm going to come in. I'm going to keep it quite nice and slim. Actually, this is a one millimeter pad. Quite a nice big chunky one. So I should only need one or two. Actually, I'll do three. I know um, I did have a comment, I just read it before I started the video, so I haven't replied to it yet, but um, I did read somebody saying that they liked my cards, but um, their customers wanted them a little slimmer, so they didn't do quite as much foam pads, but that's the beauty of these cards, isn't it? And Hunky Dory, you can just literally go high, go low, you know, you just, however you want to go, 
Okay, so I use this same uh, foam pad depth, so like I say, it's about one millimeter. And then we've got our Happy Mother's Day. I'm going to pop that up there. Okay, and then I think I'm going to come in with some silver gems. I could come in with purple or pink. If I can find some of the nice smaller ones. Yeah, I think that should be okay. Um, what I'm going to do on here and here I'm going to do two and I want quite big ones, real small statement ones, so massive ones on there and then what I want to do is just on a couple of these stars, so one, two, three, four, five going to take these smaller ones and pop them into the center so now I have to remember where I put the glue Just look at it that way. This one there. Oh, this is a tiny one. Let me save that one for a minute. Just get a slightly bigger one. Which can go there. One, two, three, four. Six, so just gonna do, yeah. So, my new glue must have come out over there, okay. So, this teeny tiny one, come on, turn over. Oh, no, that one's disappeared. So, we just have to find another teeny tiny one. Ah, oh, there you go. And I believe. There we go. So I've just got that little bit of sparkle to some of those stars. If you've got um, sort of your Aurora Borealis ones, they would look even better. I have got some, um, but they're upstairs, so I didn't want to stop and go and get started again. So that is the finished card on that one. So that's our card with our little front step. Okay, and then we've got our spanner card, which is our new new uh, style. So um, I'm definitely going to be making more of these. Definitely going to be making them tidier than that, though. Um, and I think this would be quite nice if you're doing, um, you, you know, like uh, if you've got the stamped stamp book that they were doing on hunky dory on friday the stamps you know you could have your borders down there you could have your main stamp at the back i think that would be perfect for that you could really make patterns and things um obviously the step card is is brilliant for a lot of occasions and and it's quite nice just to have that little bit extra on there than a normal card it doesn't um there's no real guesswork in how the card has to stand on a um, shelf or anything you know you can see it's a normal card you just stand that up and it's gonna look fabulous okay so that is my last little video on treasured moments um quite sad that it's um the cats really because um the next one that i'm i should be getting hopefully monday fingers crossed um should be the perfect um the cats one the perfect one um, so that's going to be cats again. So it's pretty much going to be a lot of cat videos um, for the next week or so. Um, maybe even a little beyond that because there's four topper sheets with it. Um, and I also wanted to do something with the little books. Maybe that puzzle die that I've got as well that I ordered. 
um, but we will see. Um, but thank you so much um, for watching today. Stay into the end if you've managed to do so. Um, apologies, it's not quite as uh, well executed as some of my other videos. Um, but next time we make it, we're going to be all over it. So um, it will be done better next time. It is, like I said, that's the first one I've ever made. I'm quite happy with it. Just a few little bits to hide, but not a problem. Um, but um, take care of yourselves. Have a good weekend. If you're in the UK, make sure all the hatches are battened down because two storms coming our way so over the next couple of days so um, stay safe take care then happy crafting bye